Welcome to our channel, where we're about to stretch our understanding of everyday materials by diving into the fascinating process of how rubber is made. Join us as we unravel the journey from the rubber tree to the versatile material that bounces, stretches, and plays a crucial role in our daily lives. Natural rubber comes from the latex sap of the Hevia brasiliensis tree, commonly known as the rubber tree. These trees are primarily grown in tropical regions, such as Southeast Asia, Africa, and South America. The milky latex is extracted by tapping into the tree's bark without harming its overall health. The tapping process involves making a diagonal incision in the tree's bark, allowing the latex to flow into collection cups. Tappers typically alternate tapping spots to give the tree time to replenish its latex, ensuring sustainable harvesting. The collected latex is a milky, sticky fluid composed of water, rubber particles, proteins, and other substances. The latex is then treated with acid to prevent it from premature coagulation during transportation and storage. To turn the liquid latex into a solid form, it undergoes a coagulation process. One common method involves adding formic acid or acetic acid to the latex. This causes the rubber particles to solidify and separate from the liquid components. After coagulation, the rubber is rolled into thin sheets. These sheets are then dried, resulting in a form of natural rubber known as rubber crumbs. This material is often shipped to factories for further processing. To enhance the properties of rubber, particularly its strength, elasticity, and resistance to heat, a process called vulcanization is employed. Vulcanization involves heating the rubber with sulfur and other additives. This chemical reaction forms crosslinks within the rubber molecules, creating a more durable and elastic material. During compounding, various additives such as accelerators, antioxidants, and reinforcing agents are mixed with the rubber to achieve specific properties. This step is crucial in tailoring rubber for different applications, from tires to industrial products. The processed rubber is then shaped into the final products we encounter in our daily lives. It might be molded into tires, conveyor belts, footwear, seals, or a myriad of other applications, showcasing the versatility of this incredible material. From the latex sap of rubber trees to the wide array of rubber products we use daily, the journey of rubber involves a series of fascinating processes. Understanding how rubber is made highlights the intricate balance between natural resources, human ingenuity, and the versatile material that plays a significant role in our modern world. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration of the rubber making process. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content.